So you're shopping for your first all electric car and hopefully doing your research on my channel, click the link up above, and you're considering things like driving range, battery size, charging times, all the usual EV criteria. But what if you're most interested in performance? Well, most of those EVs are six figures and above, but not this one here. This is the all new Kia EV6 GT. It's red, it's fast, and it doesn't use gas. The new EV6 GT, the high-performance variant of Kia's breakthrough electric car, sacrifices some range in exchange for exotic car acceleration. It's quick enough to beat a Porsche Taycan GTS off the line for less than half the price. With advanced design, hyper-fast charging capability, and up to 310 miles of range, it's no wonder the EV6 has been a huge success. Starting at $50,000, it's not inexpensive. The Nero fills that niche, but it's available in either rear or all-wheel drive, generously sized, and premium in nature. So, is there a need, a need for even more speed? Apparently so. Using the same 77.4 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery as in the Wind and GT line, this EV6 GT discharges its power with more fury at a rate of 481 kilowatts, feeding a 270 kilowatt motor at the rear and a 160 kilowatt motor at the front. This increase in electricity dramatically raises horsepower from 320 to 576 and peak torque from 446 pound-feet to 545. This hastens acceleration to a seriously quick 3.4 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour with a top speed of 161 miles per hour. Activate the GT drive mode and the EV6 is optimized for maximum performance. Traction control is disabled and the chassis becomes firmer. Flooring the go pedal on the GT is a mind-warping experience, accompanied by a chirp of the tires and your choice of sounds. Prefer the silence of an EV? Well, just leave the active sound design off and there's only minimal ambient noise that permeates the cabin. And anytime a car is made to go faster, a domino effect begins. So the GT comes with an electronically controlled, hardier sport-tuned suspension for improved handling, a limited slip differential to further traction when cornering, and larger ventilated disc brakes all around for quicker stops with less fade. 21-inch Z-rated summer use tires are standard, but this week the EV6 is wearing Pirelli Performance Winter Rubber, which isn't fully exploiting the car's abilities. Yet, despite the GT's hefty 5,732 pounds, 1,000 of it comprised of the high-voltage battery itself, this EV6 slithers through curvy roads with the skillfulness of a sizable Grand Tour. There's a palpable stoutness to this car, from the robustly bolstered sport bucket seats to the tight steering. Its elevated purpose is immediately felt. All EVs, even the slower ones, feel amazingly quick because of the immediate torque produced by their electric motors. But then there are the performance EVs, the ones that are designed with acceleration that was previously reserved for supercars, and this Kia is one of them. I mean, zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds is nothing to sneeze at. I can think of at least a dozen other sports cars that could not keep up with that pace. And with all wheel drive and the hefty battery weight placed low in the floor, this car can handle as well even though on these winter tires, I'm not seeing the full amount of grip. Now, the biggest trade-off with the GT model is undoubtedly range. Here in the winter months on a full charge, I'm getting only about 180 miles. In the summer, you'll see over 200. And acceleration is not the only area in which this Kia is really fast. At a 350 kilowatt hyperfast charger, it takes only 18 minutes to replenish the battery from 10% to 80%. A slower 50 kilowatt fast charger takes 73 minutes to do the same job. Buyers receive a charging credit of 1,000 kilowatt hours at Electrify America stations, usable over a three year period. But if you own an EV6, having a level two charger installed at your home is undoubtedly the way to go especially with the GT. This model delivers the lowest driving range in the EV6 lineup with an average of 206 miles. 
That's down from 282 miles in the wind all-wheel drive and 252 miles in the GT line all-wheel drive. And in this winter weather, a full battery is returning only 180 miles. So this is the GT's biggest bugaboo. At 240 volts, this car will charge to 100% in under nine hours. In other words, overnight. With that in mind, Kia provides numerous tools to help boost EV confidence and squash range anxiety. The EV6's long, Telluride-like wheelbase and underfloor-mounted battery create maximum interior space with true three-across rear seating. There's even a small cubby for a little extra storage under the faux engine cover. The cabin's motif is futuristically eco-friendly, featuring recycled plastics and artificial leather, a floating center console design, and Hyundai Kia's familiar but updated touchscreen infotainment system called Kia Connect. And there are smart features everywhere, like remote start and remote parking via the key fob, perfect for times when the parking space is a tight squeeze, a hands-free hatch that opens simply by standing next to it, customizable driving sounds ranging from racy to spacey, an augmented reality head-up display that appears to hover over the hood of the car, and the ability to use the EV6's onboard power generator to plug in items such as computers and tailgating paraphernalia, either through the outlet under the rear seats or via the provided adapter that turns the charge port into another 110 volt outlet, also capable of charging a fellow EV. So what would I change? Well, as you're probably aware, there is no wireless phone projection with Kia's best infotainment system, so a USB cable is still required for connection, though there is wire management and a wireless charge pad. Changing from climate controls to audio controls is accomplished by touching a finger on the digital bar below the center screen, an unusual approach that can lead to inadvertently cranking up the cabin temperature when intending to crank up the tunes. And lastly, when it comes to public charging, companies like Mercedes get it right in that its EVs are plug and charge, no app or credit card needed. Kia should do the same here. Pricing for this EV6 GT with optional floor mats is $62,865. That seems downright reasonable considering most performance EVs, including this car's corporate cousin, the Genesis GV60, cost thousands more. It's an exciting time at Kia as it continues to grow and wow in the electrified segment. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.